Hi everyone and welcome to our info session. My name is Carly Beard and I'm from Loyalist Marketing, Communications and Recruitment team. Today I'm very excited. I have with me here Brad Baragar, Program Coordinator of Loyalist College's two-year Business Sales and Marketing Diploma Program. Thank you so much for being here with us, Brad. Um, let's start with a little about you. Uh, can you tell us about your industry background? Sure can. Um, I guess probably the best way to take a look at it is uh, I fell into uh, sales and marketing from a, a media background and uh, I was not coerced into it. I, I never thought of myself as, as selling business to business. And um, finally, someone approached me and uh, thought I had the attributes to be successful with it. So I decided to take a look at that whole industry. And in doing so, I found out that in dealing with selling business to business, um, there was a lot of money to be made as opposed to say retail. And uh, I, was, I was captured, my heart was captured by the whole process. Um, I was selling in a territory, I had my own clientele. That coupled with my knowledge in marketing uh, really helped me, I think, in, in that career. So it was a chance to do that and then following that, uh, be, a part of a, a, an, uh, be a part of a business that allowed me to train salespeople, train sales managers, right? help them in their territories, help them uh, be successful in what they did as, as, as well, which was really a kick. And that kind of got me uh, eventually feeling the same excitement when I was in front of a, a classroom, um, helping them do the same thing. It was, was kind of neat how that worked out. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the business sales and marketing program? When it was first conceived, um, it was conceived uh, out of a need. And the need was businesses from all over Ontario, for that matter, other places in the world, needed uh, people to market and sell business to business and they want a reliable trained people to do that so we had focus groups uh, we had surveys we had our advisory council i, I guess it, you, you could refer to it as and and um, the business sales and marketing program was created now that very need uh, and that was many years ago that very need is, is still evident today in fact if taking a look at at uh, current stats um, that one area that one area of business has been the selling and marketing is, is so needed. So that um, we're, we're really grateful for the fact that if our students want to pursue work, right, want to pursue, uh, uh, pursue a career, they can go ahead and do it. And there is ample, ample opportunity out there. So I'd, I'd like to start off with that before I get to the, the kind of the nuts and bolts of the whole thing. To let you know that um, I would say that between 80 to 90% of what we do in the program is experiential. That means to say that we try to provide real life experience, either through simulation or actual real life projects and, and um, real life um, situations for the student. So it's not just academic. It is really a sense of demonstration. Can they demonstrate the skills that, um, that they learn in class? So we've developed a program where that becomes a part of the learning outcome. That becomes part of the curriculum. And in doing so, we give them an opportunity to enhance their own attributes while adding more to them on both a soft skill and a hard skill level. So that brings us down to how we do that. And we do that uh, with many of the things that we teach them over the course of four semesters. Thank you for breaking that down for us. And I'm sure a lot of students are, are interested to know about some of the, the courses that you offer that allow you to do that. Fundamentally, the first and second semester contain a foundational courses in, in writing, in mathematics, and of course, computers. And that's very important, that foundational piece. Over and above that, uh, we sprinkle our pepper in the first semester and the second semester, um, core courses. Third semester, or semester purely core courses. I'll give some examples. I don't think I'll exhaust this time um, with going on and on about it like I probably could, but we'll start with um, some experiential things uh, to let you know. Uh, one of the things we provide on an ongoing basis, uh, especially in the third and fourth semester, uh, we bring in guest speakers. And the guest speakers, um, I find this really endearing. Uh, this is, I hope this doesn't sound egotistical. 
So what happens is uh, we bring in guest speakers that happen to be former students of mine that are now in places of management. This is very gratifying. Um, and they come, I, I, want, I want the students, the, the current students to see past students that are successful and actually um, have sat where they sat and listen to an old guy like me years ago kind of thing. And so uh, we do that. Now, uh, a sidebar. One of the things that uh, former students, uh, when they come in, they come in to recruit. They come in to look at people that can be involved in um, um, our placement, be involved in job shadows, and be involved in actually being employed. Um, I've got one former student, oh, excuse me, uh, one former student that um, I'd say over the course of uh, last several years has probably hired a dozen of our students. Wow. Now remember, it's business to business. Um, and I'm not, uh, I'm not in any way um, putting down retail or things like that, but this is, this is actually um, marketing or, or a business to business to, in an industry that requires, that requires a, a salesperson that usually has a, a foundational wage and of course commission. So we bring in guest speakers. And the, the other really cool thing about guest speakers, it allows those students to actually listen to somebody that's actually doing it, as opposed to me, right? And they get to hear um, about careers, about a journey. This is very important for them. So that brings us to what? That brings us to what we have, uh, uh, we started from the very beginning. And that was providing the students the opportunity to have job shadows with, with professionals, whether in marketing, nonprofit, um, selling in a, in, a, in a sports environment, um, beverages, pharmaceuticals, whatever it is to spend at least in, on three or eight occasions going out and, and spending time in a job shadow. Now, that does a couple of things. That lets, them, um, lets the students ask professionals, What's it, what's it like to be you? Uh, what do you do during the day? What, what's, what's this industry like? Um, how do you make a, how does, and on and on, the quizzing can go so they can find out more about an industry and find out more, gee whiz, I, I kind of like this. So they do that. Now, the interesting thing about that, that provides them with a, a networking opportunity so that by the end of the fourth semester where they have to have placement, they now have a network of people to talk to about that placement, which is cool. It's really kind of interesting. They have an opportunity to take a look at places where students have already worked as well. So that could be in marketing. Um, that could be, we've had students uh, market for municipalities, market for cities. We've had them work for uh, sports teams. We've had them work for pharmaceutical companies. We've had them work for beverage, both adult and um, companies like Coca-Cola, textiles, plastics. Um, pretty well everything that every room provides has somewhere down the line has someone marketed and been involved in business to business sales, which is very gratifying. So we, we've got that part of it. So that's the professional part. So going back to your question, we also, if we can, will alter, um, not the curriculum or the outcomes, but we'll alter um, our way of delivering them. So here's what's interesting. Um, we'll have people from the community come in to us. They need help. They need help marketing. They need help boosting sales, things of that nature. So we'll, we'll, put together, we'll put together teams to do that, and we'll use it academically for marks. And because it's, they allow the, the student to demonstrate outcomes that are already provided in, in the course outlines. So we'll have, we'll have citywide events. We've helped uh, organizations like the Gleaners, um, United Way, uh, we've helped organizations with uh, boosting the marina, uh, with helping with social media in, in uh, marketing businesses. We've had uh, citywide events where our students uh, take charge of that and uh, uh, help um, the, organizers, uh, the organizers with those things. We've had students help um, even with um, hospitals in their fundraising, things of that nature. So it's kind of neat. It's kind of neat that that would take place and we have the freedom to do that. The other thing we'll do is that in the simulations we provide, and there's some key simulations that, that keep us a little bit, I think, unique. 
And one of them is our role plays. Uh, we have um, business role plays. And we go ahead and we have it from the beginning of a selling meeting to the very end. And we, we set up a cycle where the first part of the cycle, we share what the product is, what the situation is, even what the personalities of the people they'll see are. Then the second part of that cycle is that they'll prepare. They'll do a sales analysis. They'll go ahead and take a look at the organization, right? And plan going to see that person. It's from the door knock right to the, the end of the meeting. And then the third is actually, actually executing it in a, in a role play situation. And sometimes what we'll do is we'll have a guest role player uh, come in. And the guest role player, someone other than me or someone other than another professor, right, will come in and it's, it's kind of a kick because we'll bring somebody in that is maybe oh, the major trainer for a pharmaceutical company of Canada. Or we'll bring somebody in that uh, works for a major uh, uh, food um, a distributor in Ontario. And we'll sneak them in, and it'll be a place of uh, tenseness and a place of intimidation because it's not us, right? And it provides the student a beautiful exercise in demonstrating those personal soft skills and attributes that they already have, plus what they've learned in the classroom. So that's the um, that's the role play. Um, we have uh, another thing that uh, we'll simulate negotiations. We teach negotiations, and it's uh, I enjoy this this one especially. What we do is we um, bring them in, we divide the class up into teams, buyer, seller, and then we give them that day, we can't see it before that, we give them what they know and what they have to do inside the meeting. And unbeknownst to the other team, there's things they know and things they don't know, and then we put them together. What's really a lot of fun, they abide by the rules of negotiating, but at the same time, they, um, they invest totally emotionally in what's taking place in trying to negotiate prices, shipping, things of that nature. So we try as best we can in the different subjects that we teach to, to provide elements, real elements, either through simulation or actual, um, can I say, uh, events, actual events where the students not only answer to me, right, in marking, but answer to someone who's taking over a role for them where they're needed and they have to provide information for them in the community, which I think is fascinating. I think it's wonderful. And at the same time, it, it's a great, great portfolio piece for these students. Well, Brad, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to tell us a little bit about the business sales and marketing diploma program. We really appreciate it. Well, thank you.